Question. What do you get when you cross Card Captor Sakura with Fate Stay Night? The answer? I got to admit guys, when I first started the series I thought it was a horrible spin-off of Fate Stay Night and Card Captor Sakura. But as I continued watching, I soon discovered that it's actually a rather decent series. First off, the soundtrack is beautiful, but what really sold me on the series is the awesome battle scenes and character designs. If you look at Ilya and the other main cast members and compare their designs with the characters from the cards, you will see that the characters from the cards look like they're genuinely from Fate Stay Night. So you get two different character designs between the main cast members and the characters from the cards. And I got to admit, seeing Tosaka and Luvi in a magical girl setting and wearing those outfits was outright hilarious. I can honestly say the story is very entertaining with plenty of action and humor to boot. The one major criticism that I have is that I feel that the first season could have gone at least a few more episodes before going into two-way. But other than that, Fate Kali Liner Prisma is a great spin-off series, so give it a try if you haven't yet. Well guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's first impression. Please, if you have any thoughts on the series, leave them below. Like and sub for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.